Some days the day just starts off like any other day and you order something and it comes through the post and you open it and you enjoy it and you like it and you just get on with things. And then some days, some things come through the post that look so amazing that you think, well, I've got a watch channel, I'm gonna package that back up and show people how this arrived. And this is one of those days. So I was on eBay the other day, having bought my beautiful Black Bay 58, thinking about some strap options because I was really disappointed when I went in the shop uh, with the NATO fabric option. So I thought, well, I'll have a look around and see what there is. So I was on eBay as everybody does, and I came across this company, which is Lunar Watch Straps. And I've ordered from them, um, just expecting it to be like anything else that comes through the post, you know, kind of thrown into uh, a jiffy bag uh, without much care. But when I've opened this package, oh, the, the little bows fell off actually, that was wrapped up in a little bow with this message saying, on the house, thanks for your support, Jamie. Uh, and if you read the return envelope, it's, uh, re it goes back to Jamie Sykes at Lunar Watch Straps. So thanks, Jamie. Um, Jamie didn't know I had a watch um, channel, but he sent a really nice uh, uh, message on the back, uh, which is about a discount off things. Uh, there's also a message of support during the COVID about uh, supporting smaller businesses. Which I thought, great, you know, fantastic. I, I'm, I'm not sure what these are, but they feel like uh, buckle options, but we'll open those up in a second. But this was also what I was blown away by. These, they're, they're, not, they're not inexpensive um, watch straps. I think they're about £15 each. Um, but I've ordered these. Uh, the, the leather one, there's a leather one hopefully in one of these. I haven't opened these, but I was just blown away by the fact that each little sort of 15, 16 pound strap came in its own kind of watch felt case. Uh, and there we go. That is the first option that I've gone for, which I think was called maroon and gold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just, I'm just kind of, I've thought I'm, I'm going to stick this on the channel. Normally if I've ordered straps and things before, I kind of, well, the plan is, I haven't done a strap review yet, but the plan is that I'm going to sort of save up a few uh, and then go through where you can buy things from and just sort of letting people know what's out there strap wise really but yeah I'm blown away by this so I thought I'd, uh, I'd give them a bit of special attention seeing as they've done the same for me. So this is the maroon and gold very nice NATO fabric strap uh, some nice solid, sta uh, solid stainless steel keepers there uh, and the end obviously not the Tudor but they do sell uh, Tudor replicas so you can actually take this off and put the Tudor thing on the end but Wow, <laughs> I'm talking as I'm, as I'm looking, and this is the first time I've seen this. I'm seeing this with you guys. I bought this because obviously the red uh, accent there at the 12 o'clock on the Tudor Black Bay 58. Um, I'm really impressed with that. <laughs> I really like that. I've already, I've, I've had this now nearly a week and I haven't been able to stop looking at it and sort of admiring it anyway. And I thought, well, I hope I could, I could get something to pop out some of the gold accents. So that's why I went for the gold in, in the strap. Um, just as a frame of reference, I've seen the Tudor Black Bay uh, strap on its own on eBay for, I think the cheapest one I saw was about 300. The most expensive one I saw was 475 just for the NATO strap. Uh, and I think off the top of my head that this was 16. Uh, I'll put them on wrist in a second. I just want to sort of go through them really. So, so that was the first one. Uh, the second one I went for I think was called olive and gold. I might be wrong. I'll check later and I'll put, I'll put the link in the description. I'll also put the link to his eBay store in the description. I went for that just for a bit more of a tall tastic look. Same again, really the gold bringing out the gold accents there of the 58, but uh, the green looking a little bit more military really, just a bit of a different uh, look for things really when I've just got the leather strap on. But the hardware on that's really impressive, nice and chunky. Uh, in fact, I think the other ones are leather, so I'll have to come off camera to do that. So I'll just put this one on wrist and see how that looks. So yeah, there you go. Looks great with the keepers. And you can double that, but I'm just gonna sort of do this quick and dirty just so I can get an idea what that's gonna look like. Um, yeah, I really like that. Uh, I've been wearing it on my uh, Kola Reb 
I guess that's a Zulu rather than an NATO or a one piece NATO. I'm going to do a piece on that soon about what the difference is. Um, so I'm just really, really impressed by how people, I suppose during the COVID crisis actually, I've requested, bought a few things off eBay, bought a few things online off Amazon. I had some really nice messages from stores saying, you know, thank you for supporting the little guy through all of this. Uh, I think that's really important. Yeah, looking at the quality of these, I think I'd honestly be doing a little piece on them anyway because of how good the straps look, but also how they're packaged. I think that's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's the red. I think I really like that. Maroon, I think it was called Deep Maroon. I think that looks fantastic. So um, I think if I open up this one, this should be the leather option. Yeah, there it is. I think it was called Honey brown i'm going to come off camera and put this one on uh, and then i'll get back to you and i'll open up whatever these are see you in a bit and there we go coming back on screen there is the black bay 58 on i think as i say it's called something like honey brown again i'll put a put a link below um, but again because i was thinking about trying to pick up some of these gold accents there that are, that's on the bezel but really smart really smart um so yeah all of those three i paid for I, I i think i did pay for a buckle as well so i think this one was the one that's on the house by the looks of it uh yeah and that's the tudor kind of esque looking buckle which i'm uh i'm assuming that will fit on the 20 mil Yeah, that's going to fit on the 20 mil to kind of give me a Tudor looking uh, uh, shield logo. And that's really nicely finished as well. That's a really good product. So that's the one I think I paid for. And this is the one that's on the house. I'll obviously have to list this as promotional, um, which I think is probably going to be the same, but for an 18 mil by the feel of it. Oh, no, no, it's just a, it's just a spare. Uh, oh, no, it's, a, it's kind of like a hexagonal ending for a 20 mil version of that as well. So yeah, fantastic. So I suppose now I've stopped gushing about what he sent. Let's let's have a look at them. Let's have a look at the quality. So the buckle that I paid for, uh, it, it doesn't have any kind of, uh, you know, Tudor written on it or anything, trying to pretend it's something it's not. It's just a different design, but it's very reminiscent of uh, the NATO that I saw in the shop actually, at the end of the NATO. So that's a really nice touch. And then uh, for the NATOs, we've got two uh, with a stripe, with a gold stripe, and this is uh, dark maroon or deep maroon, I think it was called, and, and gold, which I think, again, finished really nicely. Nice, nice tough weave, and I really like the hardware on there. I think that's uh, pretty, well, very good quality, actually. And the endings, uh, they seem to have been heat treated as well on the holes. Uh, yeah, overall, really good, really good look. I think it definitely complements the colours, the colour scheme. So really chuffed with that one. And then the second one was, uh, I think it was called uh, Olive and Gold. Uh, it's the same story there, really. Really well made. Really like that. I suppose it's very close to kind of, um, uh, what's it called, Marine National that the French use, with that kind of parachute uh, type of green with this, with the it's bright yellow actually for them for the. Uh, French Navy uh, and then yeah just to finish on the leather strap I think that's I really like the keepers are nice and close to the to the band there's nothing worse when the keepers are sort of out here that seems very well made nice stitching on there as well nice uh, comfy lug fit as well bang on 20 mil if I turn it over uh, you kind of got a padded material on the back Really supple. When I took it out to, of the package, I thought they were going to be quite stiff, but it's, it's softened up really quickly. So, yeah, there you go. Just a quick one today. Um, that's what's out there. So please uh, give Luna Watch Strap some love uh, and, and, and all those sort of small companies out there, especially during this pandemic. Uh, they're the ones that are suffering the most, I think. So that's it. Uh, lecture over. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, if you are new here, uh, hit that like and subscribe. It really does help me out as a channel. Still very much in its infancy. Appreciate all those that have subscribed so far. And uh, leave me a comment and I'll, I'll write you a comment back. Thanks very much.